hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to Al's Agology Mecca is here again it's SBA time let's go remember now to subscribe comment and share so that you'll be the first to know when new information is posted to Al's Agology Mecca let's go so today we are going to look at agricultural science school based assessment and we are looking at part four right you would have had part one two and three so we are looking today at how to complete our school based assessment for our crop sba and here we have some information that you would need to know and so you can go through them. The Agricultural Science School Based Assessment contributes to 40% of your final grade. Candidates are also required to complete 10 skills, 5 for crops and 5 for livestock. This is drawn from sections B and C for single award only, while skills will be drawn from section B, C and E for candidates sitting double award. All right, so let's go. We are going to start by looking at our introduction. Now, under introduction, you need a problem statement. This is a sample problem statement. So you could indicate, I'll start with a short introduction. For example, many persons in rural Jamaica have become yellow squash farmers since COVID-19. Yellow squash are not consumed daily local in Jamaica, but it is a fruit vegetable that is mostly consumed in the hotel industry. However, many farmers do not know that the crop will grow faster and produce better and even have a higher profitability when grown with inorganic fertilizer than organic fertilizer. You need an aim. So the aim now is to grow yellow squash using both organic and inorganic fertilizer to see which one will have a better impact on the, on the growth rate, the production and the profitability of the crop. You also need a technical objective. So you're going to determine if yellow squash will grow faster and produce more when grown with inorganic fertilizer than organic. Your business objective now will have to do with your profitability. So you'd want to find out which fertilizer will give you a better profit when used to grow the fruit or the crop. Moving on to our methodology. Under methodology, you need a design. What sort of experimental design are you going to use? It's an experiment that you're carrying out. So, for example, you could say two pieces of land of equal proportions were organized were cleaned, were lined out, right, were chosen. You can also indicate the length and width of both plots in feet or meters. Also indicate how you would label each section based on what you will go. So for example, you could indicate that section A was grown with inorganic or will be grown with inorganic fertilizer, while section B will be grown with organic fertilizer. Indicate the planting distance as well and indicate if the same conditions will be existing on both plots and if they both will be exposed to regular sunlight and regular watering. You need a floor plan as well and so your floor plan will indicate your design. So you can also have the picture of both plots, plot A and plot B and you label them according to what type of fertilizer was used to grow the crop. Moving to our materials and equipment, and it says list of, so you're going to be listing them, one, two, three, all the materials and equipment that you will need, not, that, not the ones that you used, but all that you will need, because you might already have some and will not have to purchase them, but all that are required to grow the crop list them here you're also going to look at your activities 
So you are going to be listing your activities from the beginning to the end. First with land clearing or site selection, then lining out, then land clearing, land preparation, planting. These are just a few of them that are listed here. So you're going to be listing your activities. Then you're going to be explaining your activities. And for here, you're going to explain how you have cleared the land, how you have planted the crops, how you have carried out, carried out the watering, how you have added the fertilizer, what method of fertilizer application did you use, what are the types of fertilizer, how did you fertilize the crop, how did you mulch, did you use grass or plastic, what did you do? Explain how you have carried out these activities. All right, so we are going, this is the end of part four, and I want you to stay tuned for part five, and we'll conclude the crop SBA. Stay tuned. Remember now to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Stay tuned.